What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another ranked video. And we haven't played Kara, and I think uh, the longest time out of those four decks I have. So keep switching it up. I am sitting on about 450 gold right now, so I can't afford to maybe get some more cards and maybe see if I can do some disenchanting to make another competitive deck. But I'm not going to do it right now. Because I am actually away uh, probably the week you're watching this, which means this is a pre-recorded video from a few days ago. And um, so if you see maybe July 1st roll around and it looks like I'm still in the June season, it's because the video was recorded earlier. And also, I don't think I don't want you guys to think I'm like a dirty person if I'm wearing like this same shirt in a couple of videos in a row or something. So can we find a match, please? Hope you guys uh, are excited for the Daily Duelist videos, which will be happening as soon as Scrolls is discontinued. Um, I'll devote the entire channel to Duelist uh, as long as things keep going well. So I'm going second. And this deck might be a little different than you last saw. I have like Lightbenders and Rust Callers. So I'm going second. I will get rid of the... Ephemeral Shroud and Lightbender. Lightbender is good for getting rid of um, uh, Shadow Creep. It's kind of like uh, Sunbloom. There's a Jaxi. I also have Sojourner in the deck now. So, Hearth to start, I'm going to need to use to destroy the uh, mini Jax in the corner later. So, I'm not going to play that just yet. Um. I'm gonna replace the Rust Crawler because it can't do much for me right now. And, you know, so I'll play one of these three drops, I guess. Do I play the Spelljammer to draw more or the Sojourner? I think the Sojourner is gonna be my play. Actually, no, I'm just going to go Spelljammer. It's going to be more immediate draw, and there's a better chance I can go grab this Mana Spring next turn, whereas the Sojourner, um, if I wanted to attack and draw me a card, I'm probably not going to be able to grab the Mana Spring. Although, the Spelljammer does help us both. Probably helps me more than him because I'm a very aggressive deck, but it's not as one-sided as Sojourner. So next turn... Also, I have Maw in the deck now. I may not have been in the deck last time. Just added more minions. Okay, that's going to allow him to replace it. And there's a Spelljammer of his own. Okay, very well. So, hmm, tough choice now. I don't think I need this Spelljammer. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the Jaxi with my general. See where this spawns. If it spawns down here, that's ideal. Did not spawn down there. But I can actually get to it with a Maw. So I th think I should do that. Maybe. I can branch over move over to play the Primus Fist and then play the Maw and then I'm saving the Hearth Sister yeah I'll do that so I will give this some extra attack play the Maw here to destroy that and I have to do this because otherwise I end up wasting a card I'd end up uh, if both spell jammers are on the board I draw three cards and turn I can only fit two in my hand so I didn't have to do that but I think it was worthwhile unfortunately I couldn't destroy his aether master last turn with uh, that 
to really get into his face. So this guard is annoying. But every time he deals damage, he just gets healed up. So how am I supposed to combat this now? And his hand is full at least, so. I could dispel it. I could dancing blaze to destroy it. I think I'm gonna do that. Actually the only issue there is then I'm not fully taking advantage of all the cards. So maybe I should just dispel it. Dispel it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'll start by playing the kinetic surge. Move here. Then I can play this in a three drop. Yeah, I'll do that. So I will dispel this. And then I'm gonna play. I'm gonna keep my hand. It's a lot of units I can use. I'll destroy this with my maw. I'm not gonna trade in the general right now, but I am gonna play the sojourner. Which will be pretty beefy. So it should be able to draw me some cards. And that'll be my turn. Oh, I just realized right now my hand is full, so he can just, just destroy my sojourner. Almost too many cards. Some ray things are spawning. And I need to waste more cards. I need to play more. Does he realize I've. Oh, I don't think he realizes that my hand is full. Okay, so I can easily destroy the Blood Moon Priest. Oh, what is he? Still playing stuff? I can easily destroy the Blood Moon Priest with the Dancing Blades. And then I'll have no more mana though. Let's get rid of a Primus Fist. Yeah. You know, I can't use the Dancing Blades. It costs too much. I need to play smaller things right now it's just too much so I'll go ahead and play the hearth sister to here and switch places with that Now I'll play Primus Fist to give this more attack. I'll be able to destroy that. I'll destroy one of the Wraithlings. And I'll use Maw to finish off with this. Fortunately, the mall wasn't buffed up, but it's too bad. And we both have a lot of cards in our hand. A little worrisome, though, because he has Wraithlings on the board, and those can die and give things with Death Watch big things. And there's that. Gloom Chaser. How do I get rid of all these units? There's so many. My best bet might be going aggro. I don't know how I'm going to be able to end up doing that though. So I'll definitely go with the Kinetic Surge. And...
I will. I could use the. I could kill the Vorpal Reaper right now. I guess I have to. I can't let him get like six of damage on my general. So. I guess I'll get rid of one of the Hearth Sisters. You know what? No, it's fine. My hand is fine. I want to move him to right here. Right? I should just move him right here. So now all my units can attack him. I will deal two. Plus three, plus two, and play one big Primus Shield Master. Oh, that's gonna spawn. And then I'll destroy the Gloom Chaser. And that'll be my turn. So, not really a whole lot I can do about that. I didn't have, I don't even know if I have Chromatic Holds in this deck to dispel something as big as that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, win this game, to be honest. I'm not doing anything wrong. I hope not. I just think this matchup is not good for me. Like he's just so many ray things, this swarm deck. Whereas if I had, if I was playing Lion Army, I'd have a chance to be as Tempest, but this thing gets a huge attack, right? Yeah, thing's gonna get huge. He's almost out of cards though, at least. I do have many more cards than um, than him, which actually gives me a chance at winning this game. He's using a lot of Wraith things on that. Okay, so I have to destroy this this turn or dispel it. I can deal 3 damage with the Dancing Blades, plus 3 from... Problem is the Saber Sign Tiger is not, like, boosted. Wish it was boosted. Or I can just move this Black Solus really far away right now, which is probably what I should do. Yeah, I should do that. And let's replace something that... Okay, let's move to the corner. And then I'll... Oh, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. I messed that up. Oops. Let's just kill it this turn then. So we'll do three damage to it. Have this finish it off. And then I will keep my hand, I guess. Um I'm not gonna hit him. Cause I know there's big six drops in uh his deck that I'm scared of. Oh, so that's gonna that taken care of. And more Wraithlings, oh goody. Okay. This light bender isn't really helping, so I'm gonna replace it, I guess. Sojourner. Well, Yeah, it was stupid me going in the corner there. I messed that play up. I have eight, so I can play Ash Mephit. I want to wait until it's a little bigger, the Ash Mephits. You know, actually, I can play the Ash. So let's move away. 
play the Sojourner. The Sojourner. And actually, Sojourner and Primus Shield Master instead of Ash Mephit. Because the Ash Method I want to. Um, now I just can't keep my head on I want to make it a little bigger before I play it. Okay. That's what I was worried about. A Death Watch thing like that. So that's going to be able to destroy me. Now I wish I had a Light Bender. I lost my life ender. And there's that. Ouch. Um, this is at a 4-3. I can get it to a 5 attack. Which is not quite enough. I think I have to just run away from this, but just definitely destroy the celerity, dude. Let's get rid of the Sojourner right now. Ash Method. Okay, we're going to try to win this with Ash Methods. So this is going to be 5 attack. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy the Vorpal Reaper. I can't. Yeah. Actually, the, the thing's going to be huge, though. It's going to be really freaking huge. Whatever. Yeah, we have to destroy the Vorpal. So let's play Ash Method. Oh, way back there. That's annoying. Then I'll just... Run up there. Oh, oh, we gotta kill this. And that thing gets even bigger. Hopefully, it doesn't want to have another one of those Death Watch Crescendo things. Okay. As long as this can't reach us, I really need a Light Bender now. <laughs> Need a light bender. I got really unlucky with these Ash Mabbit spawns in the corner there. It's gonna get even bigger. Oh, he's out of cards. Okay, so there's more Ash Mephits. Primus Fist. Saber Spine Tiger. I'll replace the Primus Fist. I mean, what can I what can I get to? Six attack plus five attack is not enough to even destroy this. Come close. So I'm gonna get rid of the Primus Fist. Although with Saber Spine, it can actually deal some damage. Hollow Grove Keeper. That doesn't help me right now. So Kinetic Surge. And I guess I'm gonna. Oh, this is bad now. can't protect myself really yeah I really can't well let's put some of these guys down one spawn down here in the corner oh that was a lucky spawn there This is gonna be this is a one shot hit to a general anyways. So no use in me. Oh actually he wins the game if he can just destroy this. That was stupid. Whoops. Does he win the game? Okay, well that's gonna heal up his general. Yeah. 
I'm gonna heal up a lot. I need a I need a light banner of my own to get rid of that massive thing. This is a close game though. At least I have cards and he doesn't have cards. I don't know how long I can push back. Where's they gonna spawn? Okay, cool. Back there so I can still hit his general. Forty-one damage. Okay, I don't think I can come with nineteen damage to destroy that. And I don't really want to play the spell jammer because I need him to not draw any cards. Although I'd love to draw a light bender on my own. More important that he doesn't draw any cards. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this. Light bender. Clutch clutch draw. Okay, first I'll make sure I can't win, right? So that's gonna be four plus four is eight plus five is thirteen. I can bring down a low, but not that low. Okay, so I'm gonna have to light bender first. I'm gonna run away with my general though, unfortunately. My Ash Method's gonna have to be a little slowed down. So that's let's Let's light bender. And then we'll use this to destroy that. I get all those attacks in and run away even more. Okay, that was a huge turn for me. That light bender basically um, won me the game, I think. Yeah, I really did. It was a race for draw there. I didn't win yet, but now I have a clearer lead. So can I win? Um, what do I replace? That's actually a tough replace. Well, right now I can deal four plus four, three. So Primus would almost win the game for me. But honestly, I'd rather play the Hollow Grave Grove Keeper. I'd rather keep in instead of I'll replace the Primus because that wouldn't really help. So I'll just play this. At least I can do this every turn. And I'm not going to be able to destroy his Shadow Sister this turn, which sucks. But I'll deal damage there. Yeah? What? Oh, just leave it outside my door. I'll leave it right there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move down to just to get away in case things get dicey. And I'll just play a 6-7 Hollow Grove Keeper. Not really for its ability, but it's still a 6-7 for, uh, for 5, which isn't too bad. I'm not going to play the Spell Jammer. Because we do not want him drawing cards. He's going to be able to heal up a little bit. Yeah, he's going to be able to heal up. I, have a, I just drew a rust crawler to take care of that artifact. Okay. Shadow spawn. Do I have the win? Man, I'm really close to winning the game. Really close. Let's get rid of the spell jammer. He's playing one turn a game. Okay, is that the win? That's the win, right? What does this do? Whenever minion or genre takes damage, restore. Oh wait. When this takes damage, he restores one health. So does it win it? What does this do? Whenever genre 
Let's see if this works. So first I have to attack this, right, to destroy it. Because he won't... Oh. That counts as the minion? That's annoying. <laughs> I didn't win yet. Um, well. I guess I'm gonna still surround you. I mean, I'll destroy the artifact. I'll pound you for six. And... I'm just gonna start top decking, I guess. I really doubt he's gonna be able to top deck anything to come back from this mess he's in. But, who knows? He's going to have to do a lot of damage to creatures this coming turn. If only I was Faye right now, <laughs> I can just deal two damage, but then I wouldn't be at this point. Faye could not last this long with his little minions. <laughs> oh, finally, waves a white flag. That was a really good game. A long one, too. I'll give him the five gold tip. Wow, that'll be the whole video. That was a fun game. Well, it didn't really move much in S rank, but I'm happy I played that because that was a battle. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist, everybody.